Hello, YTPC. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. It's Cobb Tuesday. I was told I needed to wear this hat on Cobb Tuesday. So what have I got? Missouri Meerschaum Great Dane Spool with uh, some more of that Smoker's Haven Brian's Blend in it. I've still probably got half the sample that I was given by Blue Line Pipe, Brandon. It's a pretty good house blend. It's lasted me a long time. Okay, so the real purpose of this video today is to do a NABO, not another box opening, from CigarBid.com. Uh, Joseph, JBN951, turned me on to uh, CigarBid with one of his videos, and so I checked him out. Sure enough, you can save yourself quite a bit of money. Let's go take a look and see what came in this shipment. All right, guys, so let's take a look at everything that I found. We'll start over here on the left. John Bull. John Bull is a slightly sweet Cavendish English. From what I have read, I have not tried it yet. Uh, it's mild on the Latakia. Um, and uh, like I said, has a little bit of a sweetness to it. Mark Twain is a semi-aromatic that uh, that has a, a decent burly base. John Cotton's double pressed Latakia. Now I've liked the Kentucky from them, and so I figured eh, another uh, English blend that I can try here uh, that that comes from a quality blender. Peterson. My Mixture 965, have not tried that yet. Looking forward to it. Again, supposed to be a slightly sweet English. Then moving up, two tens of Mississippi River Special Reserve. A nice English. Uh, I liked Mississippi River. Uh, Special Reserve is supposed to have uh, some more high quality, uh, rare, uh, flu, flu cured Virginias. Boy, I can't get that out. Then, the plum pudding. Everybody's familiar with that. Uh, an English blend that most people seem to like. Um, it's not really terribly polarizing. And then, plum pudding special reserve, which I got four tins of that. Oh, and th those are eight ounce tins there. These others, the plum pudding and the Mississippi River special reserve are four ounce. And the Plum Pudding Special Reserve uh, is supposed to also have an upgraded um, Virginia's as well as some uh, rare small leaf uh, sun cured Orientals. So I, um, I, I know that I, I happen to have sampled all three of those. Uh, I know that I like them. So I went ahead and bought a bunch because I could get them cheaply. Now, Oh, I also, to finish out the order, you, you always get pipe cleaners. Um, so I got myself five bags of pipe cleaners. And let's take a look. Slow down a little and let it catch up and focus again. Let's take a look at what this cost. All right, folks. That's quite a bit of stuff. So... Now let's take a look and, and I'll pop up the image here of the invoice so you can see what these cost. Now the Mark Twain I got for a buck fifty each. That's not bad. Dollar an ounce. And uh, if we scroll down to the John Bull, I got those for two bucks a piece. Still just a little over a dollar an ounce. Peterson, my mixture, six bucks. Well, that's about half price for a tin. I, I can tell you my strategy here. I looked up on half a dozen websites, each one of the blends I was interested in, divided that cost, the, the lowest price I found, divided it in half, added 50 cents or, or whatever to round it up a little bit. And that was my set maximum bid. Didn't budge over that. If I won, I won. If I lost, I lost. And uh, the, these are the things that I won. So the my mixture 965, uh, not bad. That one runs 1112 
a, a 10. Um, oh, now, now we get to some of these. The Seattle Pipe Club Plum Pudding Special Reserve. Now, I, I, I won two different auctions on that. Uh, one of them for $15, one for $15.50. Now those are four ounce tins. So what you're talking about is getting Plum Pudding Special Reserve for a, a little less than $4 an ounce. Well, that's that's approaching the the upper end of bulk cost. That's, that's not a bad price if you like the Special Reserve. Uh, let's see here, John Cotton's Double Pressed, um, eight bucks a tin. Yeah, that's about half price. Those go 14, 15 bucks. Uh, let's see, pipe cleaners. I got bags of 100 for a buck. Uh, let's see. Ah, now, uh, Seattle Pipe Club's Plum Pudding, the eight ounce cans, I got two of those. Now I got that in a free fall auction. And the free fall auction, uh, you have a, a price that, that resets periodically and it starts out high and it drops. And when it reaches a point where you're willing to pay that price, pull the trigger. Well, you'll notice that I got the Seattle Pipe Club's Plum Pudding eight ounce cans for $24 each. Now the cheapest I could find those online was $46. So that's almost half price and they were out of stock. So that's really if you like that blend, that's a good buy because again, you're getting down uh, for a premium tobacco down into bulk tobacco price ranges. And then the, the last one, same thing. The, the last one was the Mississippi River Special Reserve. And uh, I got those for $16 each. Now, you'll notice then uh, 25 bucks shipping, another 14 bucks in um, sales tax, Brought my total to two thirteen eighty four. Now, I went out and I took the I I found the cheapest price on a half a dozen websites. I found the cheapest price that I could for any of these, and added them all up, and then added uh, the same amount of sales tax, uh, the same percentage, assuming that it would be roughly the same. Now. Assuming that I could get all of these at a place like Pipes and Cigars or Smoking Cigars or any of the sites that give free shipping once you're over a dollar amount, assuming no cost for shipping, it was $303.72. That was the cheapest prices I could find anywhere online for those exact products. Now, at, at Cigars.com, I paid $213. Now, that is... 75% higher to buy it at a, a regular site rather than at the cigar bid uh, auction site. Um, so, uh, or, or if you look at it the other way around, the, it, it's about 45% uh, 45 discount. Um, so you're, you're, paying, you're paying just about half, even though you're paying shipping. Now, those websites will occasionally run 15 to 25% uh, discounts that still doesn't even come close to cigarbids.com if you find things on there that you want. In this case, uh, I happened to, I, I wanted to get some more Englishes, so I picked up a few, and I happened to know that I like the Seattle Pipe Club uh, offerings, and to be able to get them at that price, uh, I, I couldn't beat that. Uh, I am uh, deciding to move into trying some more Englishes. I, I've had some that I like, and the SPC uh, blends I have liked a lot. Uh, so I went ahead and stocked up on those. Picked up a few others like the, the Mild John Bull uh, and the 965 to start giving some of those things a try. But I gotta tell you, it, it is hard, hard, hard to beat the prices at cigarbids.com, provided set yourself a limit and and don't bid on too many things or you will wind up with a huge bill. I was planning this, so I, I was not surprised. You could be. Now with that, folks, light something you like. Enjoy your afternoon.